bullshit, said Ben Rains, pointing his finger at yet another pair of federal agents who had come to his home to harass him again for his articles attacking the government. I have committed no crimes. I am a tax-paying, law-abiding citizen who has the right to address the problems I believe are destroying this nation, and I'm looking at two of them. Ike McGowan, the ex-SEAL who commanded two battalions of the rebels, entered the room and sat down, noting the glum look on Ben's face. Ike and Ben had been friends for years and kept nothing from each other. How bad is it, Ben? Just about as grim as we've ever faced, old buddy. This push have a name? Yeah, Operation Hopeless. Strike, Bruno ordered. Strike now and kill that goddamn Ben Reigns. Hundreds of Botker's troops came charging up to the surface and went racing toward Death's Door. The troops were so glad to be finally getting out of those stinking damn tunnels, they were careless. The first ones rushed into the lower levels of buildings, threw open hidden passageways, hit ankle-high black wires, and were blown into bloody chunks of meat and shattered bone. Homer Blanton, the most anti-gun president the nation had ever elected, opened a side drawer of his desk and took out a Colt Diamondback 38. He kept it in his right hand, out of sight of the Secret Service man. Jeff, Blanton said, we've got to trust each other, but if you've turned on me, you will be the first one I plug. We destroyed their city and their homes, Billy said, and still they cheer us. The adults, Ben said, not the younger ones. They're still solidly in Botker's pocket. Look at the hate in their eyes. Sort of reminds me of the look in the eyes of some of my men. Billy spoke the words softly. Don't get too chummy with me, Billy, Ben warned him. They're going to turn on you, and some of my people will mutiny too. Not that it makes much difference how friendly we get, I suppose. It's already in the works, on both sides. Nothing is going to destroy what remains of the United States, Ben. I won't allow it. If I have to lock up my vice president and that entire pack of kooks she has around her, by God I will. Hang in there, Homer. I'll talk to you later. I've got a war to fight. Good luck, Ben. And I mean that, friend. I know you do. Same to you, friend. Rain's out. Well, I'll be goddamned. Lamar Chase spoke from behind Ben. The world's biggest liberal and the world's hardest conservative have made friends. This is one for the history books. Dan reporting creepies pouring out of houses and businesses, Corey called. Here we go, Ben said. Then the rebels were surrounded by hundreds of robed figures running at them at nearly point-blank range. Fire, 